In this module, we will discuss auto flight operation with LNAV and VNAV. The FMS directs the flight control computers and auto throttle servo to fly the desired profile. The FMS is covered in the FMS introduction module. LNAV and VNAV can be used together or separately with an autopilot or flight director. Now let's discuss LNAV. Pushing the LNAV switch arms the LNAV mode. LNAV is displayed on the PFD in white. There are three conditions to engage LNAV. LNAV engages if an active flight plan has been entered into the FMS CDU. And the airplane is above 50 feet radio altitude. And within 2.5 miles of the active leg. To review. LNAV activation occurs if LNAV is armed. The Flight Management Computer, FMC, contains an active flight plan. The airplane is at least 50 feet radio altitude above the ground. And the airplane is within 2.5 nautical miles of the active leg. When LNAV is engaged, LNAV is displayed on the PFD. If the LNAV switch is pushed outside these parameters, LNAV will arm. LNAV will engage at the point to turn to intercept the active leg. Once LNAV is engaged, the autopilot is directed to fly the active route to the last route waypoint. If the airplane passes over the last route waypoint, LNAV remains engaged and commands the airplane to maintain the last heading. LNAV is terminated by capturing the localizer or selecting another roll mode, such as heading select or heading hold. With localizer or approach armed, LNAV automatically terminates at localizer capture. Question. Answer C is correct. Question. Answer A is correct. If the airplane passes over the last route waypoint, LNAV remains engaged and commands the airplane to maintain the last heading. Now let's discuss VNAV. Pushing the VNAV switch arms the VNAV mode. VNAV is displayed on the PFD in white. There are two conditions to engage VNAV. VNAV engages if the performance initialization is complete. And the airplane is above 400 feet radio altitude. In review, VNAV engagement occurs if VNAV is armed, the performance initialization is complete, 
and the radio altitude is above 400 feet. VNAV speed is computed by the FMC and is displayed on the FMS CDU climb page. The FMC also automatically displays the VNAV command speed on the PFD. When the FMC is controlling speed, the IAS mock window is blank. During a VNAV climb, VNAV speed is displayed on the PFD. This indicates that autopilot pitch is maintaining VNAV climb speed. During a VNAV climb, thrust reference is displayed on the PFD. This indicates that the auto throttle is maintaining reference thrust. The FMC commands the auto throttle to maintain the thrust reference limit displayed on ICAS. During a VNAV climb, an automatic level off occurs when reaching a waypoint altitude constraint or cruise altitude. During a VNAV level off, the auto throttle maintains speed and the autopilot pitch maintains VNAV path. When the airplane passes the constraining waypoint, the VNAV climb continues. The auto throttle automatically transitions to the thrust reference mode and the autopilot pitch maintains VNAV speed. Question. Answer C is correct. When the FMC is controlling speed, the IAS mock window is blank. VNAV intervention includes speed intervention, an altitude intervention. To accomplish speed intervention, push the IAS mock selector. This displays the current VNAV target speed. Rotating the IAS mock selector increases or decreases the target speed without disengaging VNAV. Pushing the selector a second time returns speed control to the FMC. The IAS mock window blanks. To accomplish altitude intervention during a climb or a descent, an intervention altitude can be set in the altitude window. The airplane automatically levels off at the selected altitude. VNAV altitude is displayed on the PFD, indicating that autopilot pitch is maintaining the selected altitude. Selecting a new altitude and pushing the altitude select knob initiates the continuation of the VNAV climb or descent profile. Each push of the altitude selector deletes the next waypoint constraint. When the airplane reaches VNAV cruise altitude, the auto throttle maintains speed. The autopilot pitch maintains a VNAV path and the cruise thrust reference is displayed on ICAS. On Atlas aircraft climb, thrust reference is displayed. Selecting a higher or lower cruise altitude and pushing the altitude selector automatically displays a new cruise altitude on the FMS CDU. A step climb is made by selecting the new cruise altitude and pushing the altitude selector. The airplane begins a cruise climb at the cruise mock. During a step climb, thrust reference and VNAV speed are displayed on the PFD. The auto throttle maintains the thrust reference. The autopilot pitch maintains the speed 
and Climb Thrust Reference is displayed on ICAS. Question. Answer B is correct. Pushing the selector a second time returns speed control to the FMC. The IAS mock window blanks. Question. Answer A is correct. To begin VNAV descent, set the MCP altitude to the clearance limit altitude. A VNAV descent automatically begins at the top of descent point. During the descent, the thrust levers retard to idle, and the autopilot pitch maintains the VNAV descent path. Hold is displayed on the PFD when the thrust levers are at idle. During a VNAV descent, an unforecast headwind will cause the airplane to drop below the VNAV path. As the airplane drops below the VNAV path, the FMC directs an increase in pitch to maintain the path. As speed decreases, the FMC directs thrust to increase to maintain speed. The auto throttle mode changes to speed. During a VNAV descent with the auto throttle off and an unforecast headwind, the FMC message thrust required is displayed with airspeed decreasing. During a VNAV descent, an unforecast tailwind will cause the airplane to move above the VNAV path. As the airplane moves above the VNAV path, the FMC directs a decrease in pitch to maintain the path, and speed will increase. The FMC message drag required is displayed when drag is required to maintain the VNAV path. If speed increase is excessive or the airplane is too far above VNAV path, the FMC directs a departure from the path. The FMC directs pitch to increase and the autopilot pitch mode changes to VNAV speed. During a VNAV descent, as the airplane reaches a speed transition altitude, the FMC directs pitch to increase for speed reduction. As a new speed is reached, the FMC directs a pitch change to maintain VNAV path at the new airspeed. With approach armed, VNAV automatically terminates upon glide slope capture. VNAV terminates on glide slope capture or when selecting another pitch mode or TOGA. Answer B is correct. During a VNAV descent, the throttles retard to idle and the autopilot pitch maintains the VNAV descent path. 